a country in Europe where you can migrate if your budget is between 4.4 million CFA francs and 5.5 million Naira. Remember, this video is for those who have 4.4 million CFA francs as Cameroonians and 5.5 million Naira in their bank account as Nigerians. Now, if you are looking for a country to migrate in Europe and your budget is between these amounts, then you should keep watching this video. If you find this content interesting, please do not forget to share to a friend, a neighbor and a family member so they can equally utilize and of course make good use of this video remember keyword year should be in their bank account which means that if this money is not in your bank account then you cannot migrate to this country the immigration in this country wants you to own this money 4.4 million cfa francs in your bank account and 5.5 million naira in your bank account as of the time you are watching this video you can migrate to this country if you apply to a university remember that in this country you can equally move with your family you can work 30 hours as an international student and your spouse or your husband or wife can work on limited hours you can equally migrate with your kids to this country in and only if you have the required funds but remember if you are moving now with a family you are not alone you need to multiply the proof of funds in order to get the visa to this country all you need to do is to look for a university in this country and apply and after you get admissions you process your visa if you are moving alone then all you need is 6720 euros which is equivalent to 4.4 million CFA francs or 5.5 million naira as of the time I am filming this video now if you must know more interesting facts about this country are that this country is a member of the European Union this country is equally a member of the Schengen zone which means that if you migrate to this country you can equally move to other Schengen countries or to other EU countries that are connected because with a Schengen visa or with a visa to this particular country you can migrate anyhow within all the other countries between the name of this country is finland and if you must remember finland has an application which is going to be starting on the 4th of september and will close on the 14th of september this application is just for bachelor's degree students and if you are a master's degree student and you intend to study in finland then you have to wait up to january 2024 to apply remember this application cycle is called the joint application and there are a lot of scholarships available if you take a look at the university of lab lab university of applied sciences then you are equally going to realize that the programs have some sorts of scholarship if you take a look at Haggai university you are still going to see that there is a four thousand dollars or four thousand euro scholarship that is going to be given approximately programs in these universities cost around eight thousand euros but there is a possibility for you to grab a scholarship remember this scholarship is not a fully funded scholarship like Erasmus Mondo's joint master's degree scholarship but of course you can get a partial scholarship to help suit your education now do not forget that you need to put the money I mentioned in your personal bank account and without the money in your bank account you cannot apply to this country even if you do not have money to put in your bank account your parents can give you money to put in your account your parents can give you money or maybe borrow money from somewhere and give you to put in your account then after you get your visa and arrive in finland then you can give them back the money the purpose here is to migrate abroad let nobody deceive you let nobody fool you just know that being abroad is a better option to make it quickly of course you can make it quickly in africa as well but like i said if your goal and dream is to migrate abroad 
do not waste any more time time is running and time is essential i just said let me update you so that you know what you are going to be doing in case you have 4.4 million or 5.5 million naira in your personal bank account then this is a country you should be looking at if you do not have other monies to go to other countries like the heavy tuitions in the canada and the usa then you may just consider looking at finland i hope you enjoy this till we meet in another episode beautiful people welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for joining today if this is your first time thank you so much for coming here please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that when i post the next video you would be the first to watch thank you if you are new my name is milton today's video we are going to be talking about university selection in australia list of universities in australia and of course everything you need to know when it comes to immigrating to australia there is a lot involved and a lot of international students still do not understand what it takes and some of the things that they need to do in order to migrate to australia first if you want to move to australia using the study route understand that in australia universities are categorized into three different categories and uh, the first categories i will be calling them type one but they normally call them tier one tier one universities they are categorized to tier two universities and you equally have tier three universities now if you want to study in any of these universities you need to first of all make a plan at the initial stage before you move with the application process remember a single individual may not be able to succeed with this but you can as well do your application yourself it is not compulsory that someone can do it for you for you but i'm not saying that you cannot do it yourself you can equally try to do the process yourself but i would recommend you go through a recognized agency remember the key word here is recognized agency do not go to people that do not know what they are doing someone spoke to me yesterday on a one-on-one -on -one call and i noticed that this individual was actually crying saying that someone did his application to a school in canada and only for him to realize that the program they applied for him is a three months program and is equally an online program and i don't understand why a so-called agent can do this to an applicant you cannot apply for a three months program and you cannot equally be applying for an online program for someone who is looking for green pastures because the visa will not be granted as simple as abc this is something which is non-negotiable so please go to people who can actually pull you through or who know what they are actually doing it is very very important to follow up this now let's come back to the list of universities i'm going to be taking a look at my jota here so that we talk about this in detail there are one universities are most of the top ranked universities in australia example include the university of melbourne another one the university of sydney the university of queensland adelaide university and the university of western australia these are just some few schools that are categorized in the tier one level or the type one category of universities in australia remember that australia has about six different states all right um, north australia south australia and maybe is it queensland and tasmania and if you are looking at universities i will consider you to first of all take a look at some of the universities located in various states remember i said as the tier increases downward their uh, tuition fee decreases that is to say universities that are in tier one like the university of queensland and the university of sydney all right these are the most expensive universities those that are found in tier two and three are usually very affordable and there are some differences you equally need to know when it comes to australia australia is a country which is immigration friendly so if you really want to move to a country and your money first let me talk about the budget here if your budget is not really strong or if you do not have a lot of money i will not advise you to take australia because at the end of the day you may leave this process halfway remember let's talk about tier two and tier three as the tier increases like i said from one to three the tuition fee also reduces all right depending on the university now there is another thing you need to understand when you are applying for schools in australia or universities in australia depending on the university now it will be easy for you to get a visa depending on where you go to for example if you are applying to a school which is in tier one understand that visa procedures are usually very relaxed 
with tier one universities so if you are applying to such universities they understand that you actually are capable you are actually fit to study in such institution therefore when you finish with the universities and when the universities give you what is called coe which is certificate of enrollment okay most of the time the embassy may not even ask you for proof of funds when you are applying for visa yes this is true a lot of people don't know this even if when they are asking for the proof of funds it will be a little relaxed okay so you should put this into consideration tier one universities only in australia now when it comes to tier two and tier three you might provide a proof of funds of course it's not a might it is a compulsory something you are going to provide the proof of funds and understand that they are going to also look into your credentials to know if you actually qualify to move to australia this is because like i told you the tier level and when you apply to such universities it's going to take some time for them to actually decide if they are giving you the visa okay now let's take a look at some other things you need to know when it comes to the tier level as like i said tier one universities most of the time they may not consider english tests all right but i'm not saying that all the universities some of them might not consider the english test like the ielts which is the international english language uh, testing system they may not ask you during the application stage because they already know that if you are applying to this school of course you are going to fulfill the conditions so this is something you need to know and tier one universities like i said are very expensive and they are immigration friendly then tier two universities are somehow cheaper and again proof of funds will be required from you or maybe some more documents to prove that you are actually capable of studying in australia why tier three universities are the cheapest schools in australia and of course proof of funds is going to be needed now when you get admissions into such schools in australia remember you are going to pay um, your tuition fee and of course your medical insurance it is important and it is compulsory if you do not pay this money all right for tuition fee and your medical insurance there is no way you are going to immigrate to australia that's why i was telling someone who contacted me a few days back and i told him that it is important to get to an agent but if you do not know the type of agent to get into why not try to launch an application to any of the schools and another thing i would encourage you to do is get in contact with the school officials if you actually do not know someone that can pull you through the process because i don't blame most of the applicants i blame some of the people who are actually doing the application process for us because some of them are not truthful you understand it's better to tell someone that i am going to take this from you and do this for you rather than you keep going around the corner beating around the bush it is not proper guys so what i'm begging is that we all are in the same process we need to hold hands together to go to where to achieve what we are achieving so please let us be friendly let us be friends let us work together so that we can help one another achieve the dream yes of course people have traveled i have two people who moved to lithuania few days back all right because of me not totally my my process in because i didn't apply for the visa but because of my knowledge my videos they have been consistent asking me questions back to back they are now in uh, lithuania i guess they might be moving i have people already in canada all right who because of me they are in canada why do i say because of me because i got them the offer my guidance and my videos help them i have people moving to other countries okay even in northern cyprus so please this is how we operate